Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2140 that says solving questions with a brain power. So guys, this question might confuse you, especially this brain power thing to how to handle this brain power thing here. But I say that this question is full of hints. So if you get those hints, then deriving the approach and the intuition part would be very much simple. So guys, in today's video we will see how to uh, debug the question in order to uh, get the hints that question is uh, sharing with us and forming the approach right so yeah guys stick till the end and watch the complete video so here you are given the zero index 2d atom where each index i represent points as well as the brain power now the array describes the that uh, there are some questions in the exam where if you solve the question you get this many points and you have to skip brain power of i number of next question right okay so for an example if you solve this zeroth index question so here the brain uh, points you will get is three but next two questions you have to skip so the next question you can solve is the third index so where you will get point two and you have to skip next five questions okay clear so total if you so you are solving this question as well as this question so total points are five right now let's suppose if you solve this question if you skip this same now if you skip this question and solve this question so uh, how many points you have you have four points now next three question has to be skipped so you won't be able to solve any question in that case you will uh, you can the maximum points you get is four right okay similarly if you skip uh, this skip this and solve this question maximum point you will get is four you won't be able to solve any other question so uh, here this uh, brain part of i is nothing but the number of next question we have to skip see after solving this question we cannot solve a uh, before question right because we have to solve the question in an order right this order matters you skip this you skip this then if you solve this question now next four question you have to also skip right so this order fashion of solving question we have to maintain correct so yeah uh, and at the end we need to find some way to gather the maximum points we can earn from the exam right so i hope you guys have now understanding that we need to somehow get the maximum number of points as, uh, by satisfying the order of the question that we saw as well as if we uh, solve one of the question then brain power of i number of question has to be skipped okay got it so this is the first example that we already discussed where we solve this uh, question of zeroth index and the skip this two skip two next question and again solve this question so total points that we can earn is three plus two that is five okay now uh, let's talk about this let's say you solve this question then you skip this you solve this question and uh, now you won't be able to solve the next three okay so there are no uh, questions left that you can solve so in this way if you solve this two maximum points you can earn, earn is four okay so this is one way now let's say you skip this question you solve this okay now you skip this two because you won't be able to solve next two question and solve this so here in this manner you will be able to get seven points five plus two seven now seven is greater than four correct so seven is better answer and yes seven is the, also the best possible answer because let's say zero let me give the index number so let's say you solve the zeroth index question you skip this uh, zero and one index and solve the second index question so this one and you earn a points three points right but afterwards you won't be able to solve next two questions right this two won't be able to solve the only points you get by solving this question is three okay similarly if you skip all the four let's say you skip this 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 and always solve the last uh, equation that is the index four you will be only getting five points right so uh, the maximum is seven from all the different combinations and yeah seven is the optimal answer and thus we return seven here okay so i hope you guys have now understanding of what we are doing in this question that we are picking one of the question uh, one of the question from this question set and uh, then we are taking the, the points as well as we are skipping the number of brain power it has okay got it so what this question style tries to tell us is we have two choices right we can either take the question take or solve the question or the next thing is we can either skip the question right this question itself has these two words that you can solve or skip right this equation already give us the choices in very clear definition the definition says that either you can solve the question or skip the question and this is nothing but the choices right so this is the choices that we have and at the end we need to find optimal answer 
optimal answer or you, we need to find maximum points right there is nothing but optimal answer so guys whenever you have some choices like either do solve or skip so you we have two choices and at the end we need to find the maximum number of points the only algorithm that should come in your mind is nothing but recursion because we have choices here and we need to find the optimal answer or the answer with maximum point got it so yeah it's it was clear from the definition of the question that we have to use recursion okay got it now how we will use recursion here now that's the question okay so let's say our current index i is equals to zero now for each index of i we have two choices okay so one choice is solve and one choice is skip now if you solve this so you get point uh, points equal to three and next index is nothing but zero plus two that is two so next would be three okay because next two questions we have to skip that is zero this is nothing but 0 plus 2 plus 1 so current index plus the number of question we have to skip plus the next index so the next index would be in or oh, total 3 and if you skip your points would be nothing but 0 and index would be 1 that is the current index plus 1 now here we have different indexes so we will check from here this index index 3 for that index also we are talking about this index index 3 we have two choices solve and skip okay so if you solve it your total points would be 3 plus 2 that is 5 and the next index would be the the 3 plus 5 plus 1 9 okay so here we stop because the index is greater so we stop now if you skip that then your points would be nothing but 3 and index would be nothing but the current index that is 3 plus 1 it would that would be the index 4 and the next there is no index uh, question with index 4 so we stop okay right we will stop here now on the other side we have we are, we are at index 1 and for that index also two choices right solve or skip so if you solve it the points you will get is four points and the index would be the current index plus the number of question you have to skip plus one more for the next question so this is nothing but five and do we have any question with index 5 no so stop here and if you skip here then the points would uh, remain as it is that is 0 and the next index would be 1 plus 1 so that is 2 so we are looking at the second index okay this one from here also two choices two possibilities right solve or skip so if you solve it this question if you solve this uh, this is index 1, 2, 3. So if you solve this index 2, then you will get 4 points. So points table would be 4. And index would be nothing but 2 plus 1. Uh, no, 2 plus 1. 2 plus... What is the brain power? 4. 4 is the brain power. Plus 4, plus 1, 7. Is there any equation with the 7 index? No. So we would stop. And if you would skip it, we would go to index 3. So points would be 0, but our index would be 2 plus 1, that is 3. Now for this index 3 also, we have again two choices, solve or skip. So if you solve it, you will get two points, right? So points would be two and the next index would be nothing but three plus brain power plus the next eight. So there is no such uh, uh, equation with index eight, right? So we just stop. And if we would skip it, the points would be zero and index would be the next index that is index four. We don't have any equation with index four, so we would also stop so guys these are the possible answer right the end nodes of this recursion tree these are the end nodes and these are the possible different points that we have and we will choose the maximum points from them right we will choose the maximum point okay what is the maximum point the maximum point is five right five from all these end nodes or the answers so yeah for this question we written five here as you can see we written five here by selecting the zeroth index and the last index that is the index three so that is the zeroth index first we solve and then we solve for the third index okay by taking these two index questions we get the maximum points so yeah, guys i hope you now understood that uh, how the recursion tree is built so this is how we build the recursion tree and we uh, have two choices at each node solve or skip until we are uh, over the index right when the index becomes greater than three so we stop here okay 
now guys let me ask, ask you one question that what is the changing variable what are the number of changing variable here and what are them so changing variables who are them so if you see let's say you are at this node node well let me name it node 1 so this is let's say this is node 1 and this is node 2 what is changing see these points although these points are changing but the point doesn't determine the states this state is determined only by the index see if the index change we is it point is our answer we don't have to check it but to determine this state or to determine this node how we got this node this node we got nothing but by changing the index so yeah we can say the only changing variable here is the index variable and we only have to track this index variable and thus we will use uh, 1d dp rm right the only changing variable is index because from any node to go to any other node we will only change the index and based on the index our answer would change or not change that doesn't matter but to go to any other state from from one state we are changing the index and thus or the changing variable here is nothing but the index itself okay so yeah guys we will keep track of this uh, changing variable index and now let's move on to the coding part because the approach is very much simple here as we have discussed the recursion tree so the approach would uh, be clear for you guys right so i took this dp array of this size as we can see the constraints 10 to the power 5 then fill the dp array with minus 1 and call the solve function now here in the solve function this is the base condition that is if index is greater than nums dot size then return 0 right uh, return 0 and, and the recursion now this is for overlapping equation so if the equation that is dp of idx is is already solved so if you have already solved in the past then the value would not be equal to minus 1 then simply return that answer right initially it was minus 1 but since we have solved it and stored it at some point then we don't have to solve it again so yeah i'll directly return that answer now afterwards we have two choices as we know one is to solve the question and another is to skip the question so if you solve the question then you will get some points that is equal to the points at this index right and uh, then for the next recursion part we will again call the solve function with the index that is nothing but current index plus uh, this is nothing but brain power of the ith index plus one for the next index current index plus brain power of 5 plus 1 that is would be the next index so this is how recursive, recursively we call the solve function for the next index and if you skip it just do idx plus 1 for the next index simple it is and at the end we took the maximum of choice 1 plus comma choice 2 whatever gives us the best possible answer we will store for that index in the dp array got it clear till here so uh, now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity is nothing but big of n n is the size of this num set and the space complexity is big of n plus recursive stack that's a recursive stack okay so yeah guys that's all for this video if you have understood the question what is brain power here and focus on the question definition then building the intuition was very much simple here and if you guys have still any doubts, then do let me in the comment section. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.